good afternoon and welcome to the balance of life i am pastor angel ferguson and i thank you so very much for joining us today this is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it it is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the word of god i am so excited about each and every one of you and what god wants to do in our life i wanted to send you a reminder through our message on today that victory is on your side that's right victory is on your side as we learn day by day to trust God trust that he is believe that he is and in his very word we have victory Because God's word will not return unto him void. It shall accomplish that which it is sent, what he sent it out to do. So when God gives us a word, whether it's in healing, connected to a vision, persecution, uh, deliverance, you know, struggle, strife victory is on your side but it it begins with our faith we cannot have the victory without faith in God over in Hebrews the 11th chapter 6 verse says but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him that's our scripture text for today Hebrews 11 and 6 let me read that again but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is so when we come to God with our prayer requests our petitions based off of who he has identified himself to be he is our provider he is our protection he is our healer Uh, Jesus is our deliverer they are one and so when we come we must come believing when we come we must trust we must come in faith we must come doubting nothing knowing that God is and also that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so what are we seeking God for I tell you, if we learn to just trust God, and it is a day-by-day process, it is something that we learn to do, it is not automatic, so I'm not going to tell you that suddenly you begin to trust God, we learn to trust Him. We look back over our own personal lives and we see that He has delivered what He said He would do. When sickness hits the body and we're looking for a healing Uh, he delivers Uh, pain we're no longer in pain whether it's mental emotional or physical God is a deliverer he delivers his word he can stand by on his word and it does not return unto him void but I just wanted to come by today and tell you that victory is definitely on your side if you believe So do you believe that victory is on your side? If you've just tuned in, you tuned in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. I want to share just a few things, um, you know, that we have added to our library. You know, whenever you're in a transition and you're growing, then our thinking must elevate as well. So I came across some books for those who are frequent followers of The Balance of Life. You know I love things pertaining to leadership, especially when it is done from a spiritual perspective. So I found this great book, and I'm not promoting the book. I just want to tell you the fine books that will expand your knowledge base. So I found another book on how to become a more effective leader. 
discover what it takes to excel and then also for the longest I have wanted to uh, expand my uh, knowledge base uh, for finances and I want to say a couple of months ago I actually reached out to someone at the bank where uh, we have a, uh, the ministry account and I left a message and I wanted to connect with one of the accountants about financial literacy never heard anything back but nevertheless don't let that stop you I came across this book uh, talking about uh, financial recovery so it's information like that that you definitely want to add to your knowledge base uh, expand as you grow and you can be rest assured that yes victory is definitely always on your side uh, we'll be back in just a moment And welcome back to the balance of life if you have not done so you can connect with us via social media our Facebook page is the balance of life and we definitely go in and share words of encouragement on that page and uh, we keep you up to date our August magazine uh, as well as uh, we are preparing for September but definitely the August magazine is up on our website or you can request your free digital copy of Hope and Truth magazine emailed directly to you. All you have to do is email us at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com and we will send you a free copy of Hope and Truth magazine. Let me share this with you. This is actually a testimony. Uh, so there are certain orders that we fulfill for Hope and Truth magazine and, and so we order a certain amount of copies per per month and on the second of this month August I placed an order for some magazines and the initial delivery date said the 17th through the 19th and uh, but when I placed the order I heard in my spirit the 9th you know nevertheless I'm like okay it says the 17th I'm not going to worry about it so periodically I checked the status of the order and it still hadn't shipped the date was the same and on, uh, I want to say yesterday was Tuesday, so Monday, I looked at it again and it still hadn't shipped. Still said the 17th through the 19th. Well, on yesterday morning, I got an email that says, your order is shipping early, it will deliver on the 9th, uh, on the 10th. So when I saw the email saying that it would deliver on the 10th, I said within myself, but I heard the 9th. I heard the ninth well I clicked on the tracking and guess what it was actually out for delivery yesterday and yesterday it said it would deliver by 1 45 p.m. but it delivered I want to say about 1 10 and I just want to encourage you that when you know you heard a word from God to hold on to it and, and don't let go and and I'm like I know I heard the ninth I know I heard it nevertheless no matter what it looked like I know what I heard that is the confidence that we must have in God's Word when you know what you heard you're standing on the Word of God you believe it you trust God at his very word wavering nothing he said it that sells it and you can believe it's gonna to come to pass so I wanted to share that testimony with you. To some, it might be small and of no great important importance, but I know what I heard. And so I am learning more and more to stand firm on what I know God said to me. I cannot give an account of what was said to somebody else. I can only give an account what was said to me. And I know what was said. So... And it happened. And I said, Lord, I thank you. So that is just a testimony for any of you on today. You're, you have a word and you're waiting on it to come to pass. But when you get specifics, 
know 100% that that word is going to come to pass. We share it today. If I reach the ledge that I have, if I reach the ledge, if I come to the end or just learning how to stand and keep my balance. We wrote that back in 2017. Uh, I just want to encourage you all today. Victory is on your side as you trust and believe God. That's what it's going to take in these days, in these last days, every day of our life. We must trust God. We must believe him at his very word because victory is indeed on our side, but it is according to our faith. It is according to your individual faith. So do you really trust and believe what God is saying to you? I am learning day by day that yes, I am trusting God. What he said pertaining to me, I'm looking for it. I'm expecting it. I I don't care what it looks like. It's not in my time. It's in his time. He said it and it pleased him to say it concerning me. And I find myself in the word. Our scripture for today is Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. And I don't know about you, but I want to please God. And the way that I please him is through my faith. My faith helps my obedience. Not just on assignments, but to trust him at his word. Where he says to me, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer thee. That's over in, let's take a look at that. Let's go over to Psalms 37. Let's see what the word says. All right. Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. I'm going to trust in this word I'm going to allow my faith to help me in my obedience so that I can get the results that I'm looking for so here he is saying trust in the Lord and do good so shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed so I want to dwell in the land and I want to be fed but I must trust in the Lord I must trust in him that he's going to bring this to pass. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So what are the desires of your heart? First of all, do they line up with the will of God? How do I get that to be released in my life? Well, the scripture has already told me, delight myself also in the Lord. How do I delight myself in him? I rejoice in him. I acknowledge him. I am happy in him. I am confident in him. I delight myself in him. I am pleased with him and in him. And so in order for Hebrews 11, 11 and 6 to become effective and I can line it up with Psalms 37 as we just read verses 3 and 4 in order for those verses to become effective in my life I must have faith I must believe that God is And I must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I am seeking him, which means I'm looking for him. And when I look for him to be my provider, my healer, through his son, my savior, my father, 
my protection. I'm seeking him to be those things in my life. And when I seek him to be those things in my life, he will be just that. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So what are you seeking him to be? What is it that you need him to be in your life? Let's go back to the scripture over in Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And so today's message is victory is on your side. What are you seeking him to be? Because the victory is already on your side. If you diligently seek him to be that, he will be that. So what are you seeking him to be? If you've just tuned in, you've tuned in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. I'd like to extend an invitation to you to join us in Bible study tonight with Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey, under the leadership of Dr. Lillian C. Allen, she is the pastor, Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr., he is the overseer, and I have had the honor of being their assistant pastor for the past three years. Yes, May was my third year anniversary of being the assistant pastor here in New Jersey, and I would love for you to join us for virtual Bible study on tonight. If you are not busy with your own ministry and if you pray and you are being led, I would love for you to join us. We're going to continue in our study in the book of Hebrews. We've been in the book of Hebrews for the past six weeks, so this is week number seven. Amen. And you know what? You can always go back and, and watch at a later date because we leave the videos up. And on Mondays unless I'm led to do a new video teaching series we actually air it on our YouTube channel Strim TV Vimeo and Prime Video which is uh, Amazon's Fire TV alright oh I have some things I'd like to give away we did receive a few copies of the 2022 World Watch List. It is 52 weeks of prayer for persecuted Christians. And we have a few of these that we'd like to give away for free. If you would like a copy, please email us today at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. And I'll put one in the mail for you. All you have to do is say you would like a copy of the 2022 World Watch List. It is 52 weeks of prayer for persecuted Christians. Uh, give us your, your mailing address and we will get one in the mail for you. Today's scripture foundation is coming from Hebrews, the 11th chapter, 6th verse. And we're also taking a look at Psalms 37. Victory is on your side. And it is according to what you are seeking Him for. What are you seeking God for? Because He is a rewarder. Of those who diligently seek him. Ask and you shall find. Knock the door shall be open. Seek. It will be given unto you. So. Over in Psalms 37 and 5, it says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. 
what are you and I seeking God for? If you're seeking him for healing, guess what? He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You need a a, a breakthrough in your finances. Seems like the enemy is, is attacking your finances and you need that stronghold broken where he is attacking your finances and it seems like you can't hold any money or the money is being tied up seek him that that stronghold may be broken and destroyed against your finances are you looking for restoration in your relationships seek him he is Jehovah Jireh our provider you need provisions seek him that also takes us back to Matthew 6 where it begins to tell us about first seek ye the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and these things shall be added unto you so he's already made the promise and he has already declared his word will not return unto him void that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him and diligent means you, you don't give up diligent be diligent about seeking God diligent means having or showing care and consistency I am diligent I am persistent do you not know you have to be persistent you can't give up you cannot give up diligent characterized by steady earnest and energetic effort you cannot give up diligently seeking him a diligent person is he who shows persistent and hard-working effort in doing something in this way diligence may rather be regarded as a combination of both hard work and patience because being persistent requires patience it is also one of the most important attributes of a person and so be persistent be diligent do not give up because he will reward you let's let's look at that let's go back over there back over to Hebrews 11 and 6 and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him you keep looking you don't give up and so he he's going to reward you the diligence is is that you are looking for the manifestation of what you asked for don't give up with looking for it don't give up for waiting for the answer to be released you have some questions you're seeking him for some answers do not give up the answer is on the way expect it get up look for it every single day until it comes expect your healing until it manifests manifestations comes in the natural because it's happening already in the spiritual realm you're just looking for it in the natural so expect it be diligent about it look for it expect it get ready for it prepare for it because it's on its way he said he is a rewarder he is a rewarder let's look up that word let's look up the word rewarder because that that is who he is amen it says a person who rewards another person or thing this is referencing God amen so you want to know you we have to know that he's going to reward us 
Uh, it also says a consequence that happens to someone as a result of worthy or unworthy behavior. The rewards of exercise. And then guess what? There's consequences. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 is an example of the rewards of God. As we obey the voice and the command of the Lord, he rewards us. I'm looking for the rewards. I'm not perfect. I don't want to be perfect because when there's when you're perfect, there's no room for growth. There's no room for correction. So I want to grow in him. I want to grow up in him. And I am seeking him on how to grow up in him. And guess what that reward is? He's going to release unto me through the Holy Spirit how to mature in Christ. Oh, this is good. So when I seek to please him, when I seek to learn more about him, he rewards me with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Mm -hmm. That's my reward. That's my portion. I grow under spiritual maturity. Another one of my rewards is the fruit of the Spirit. Another one of my rewards is healing in my body when I'm not feeling well. And I call upon the Lord and I say, by your stripes, I am healed. When I am in need, I remind myself who my provider is. I thank him that I have the use of my limbs, that I work, that I use the gifts and talents that he has given unto me. And when I need a supernatural miracle, guess what? I know he can give me that too. He is a rewarder to those who diligently seek him. So what are you seeking him for? You must come believing by faith. Knowing that God is, you must believe that he is. And that he is going to release unto you what you're seeking him for. Let it be in his will. Salvation. Deliverance healing body mind and soul your spiritual eyes open your ears with clarity your mind renewed your heart converted he is a rewarder I don't know about you, but I just need him for so many things. I need him for a lot. And I am seeking him diligently. And I am looking. I have an expectation that he is going to reward me. As I seek him. As my provider. As my healer. As my protector. As my guide. old to father me I'm going to rest in him because I trust him I'm learning to trust him more and more with me every day I pray that what we share with you today has been food unto your soul and a light unto your path. Don't forget, if you would like a copy of the 2022 World Watch List, 52 Weeks of Prayer for Persecuted Christians, it is free. All you have to do is email us at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Expand your library. Find your area expand your knowledge base let's grow together let's grow together god has something great in store for each and every one of us 
I know he does. I, listen, I'm seeking him daily. I'm waiting on it. Have a blessed day, everyone, and we will chat with you on tomorrow. Have a good day.